If you are watching this, you must be like 100,000 others and soon to be completing a practical driver training course with SDT. Be sure to have completed the necessary modules of the e-learning theory prior to your attendance. We rely on you having seen this content. We also can log in to our portal and see who has completed it and who has not. Please be aware that your enrolment into the practical course consumes a position on that course. So if you fail to attend, it is unlikely we can refund your attendance fee or rebook you without further payment. Do not attend if unwell, but we will likely need a doctor's certificate or other evidence for us to consider rebooking you. Please refer to the attendance information we have emailed to you. This has the venue and start time listed. Increasingly, we are finding participants are ignoring this email and doing an internet search of our company name. This will take you to our head office in Meadowbrook. Courses are not conducted at our head office. Most of our Southeast Queensland courses are conducted at the RACQ Mobility Centre. This is the new name for the Mount Cotton Training Centre. This is located in the suburb of Cornubia, which is near Logan Home and 10 minutes from Springwood, Beanley and Redland Bay. As you arrive, Look for the signs describing the various parts of this large venue. When possible, we will position our vehicles on display and have a sign directing you where to go. Remember, you are booked with SDT, Safe Drive Training. There are other training schools that operate at this same venue, and so be sure to not end up in the wrong class. If you arrive early, we might still be setting up or another training company might be conducting a course. Do not open and enter closed gates. If it is after the start time, please call us using the mobile number on the attendance information sent to you. There is a boom gate with an intercom to main reception. If lost or confused, you can ask the RACQ personnel where to find the SDT training. We also conduct courses at Willowbank, which is past Ipswich. We have signs on the highway and in Champions Way to direct you where to go, but please refer to the attendance information that is sent out before your course. If you are using your vehicle or work vehicle, there are a few important checks we need you to make before arrival. You need to ensure you have suitable tyre pressures for the training. This is very important and incorrect pressures will need to be rectified before the vehicle can be used. Please also ensure all loose objects are removed or stored safely in the cabin and any load is securely restrained. Four wheel drive vehicles especially should be cleaned to maximise biosecurity and prevent the spread of noxious weeds, grass seeds and pests. If you are using our vehicles, we will have already conducted a pre-start safety check and recorded the tyre pressures on the course safety sheet. When our instructors run a safety briefing, we need your full undivided attention. We will have to wait if you're on a phone call or distracted. These briefings will explain the driving exercise you're about to undertake, the objectives of it, and set the rules and speed limits. Typically, after completing an attempt, you will pull up and receive further instructions. Be sure to listen carefully and ask questions. Please refrain from loud music and using the horn. Many training venues have homes nearby and residents who don't like being disturbed. If using our vehicles, take the time to set yourself up in the cabin using the tips provided in the seat and steer module of your e-learning. We want to see you well positioned and using good techniques. Most vehicles have height adjustable seating. Obviously, you need to wear your seatbelt at all times. When a range of vehicles are available, make sure you drive different ones to learn their capabilities or lack thereof. It is less beneficial for you to only drive the same vehicle each time. Driving exercises are marked out with traffic cones, markers and bollards. 
Traffic cones placed to lie on their side are set up to point you which way to go. Or our instructor will be telling you which way to go. You will be told what speed we want you to attempt the exercise at. Typically you start slow and your speed is increased as you prove your competency. You will be signalled when the instructor is ready for you to then drive towards the training exercise. Do not set off until signalled. As you wait your turn, we ask that vehicles are spaced out and not idling nose to tail behind each other. This is driver training, so you are expected to make skill or technique errors and then to learn from this. You could hit traffic cones or our foam objects. No one is going to shout at you. This is training and kinesthetic learning. On the skid pan, you are very likely to spin out. This is why you are attending and learning in a safe environment. But please don't crash into the traffic cones or foam objects deliberately. It just wastes time having to reset the exercise for the next driver. Our instructors reserve the right to restrict or exclude participation in the course. This could include timeouts through to removal from the venue. We have red carded and called a taxi for a few people over our 25 years of driver training. In a manual vehicle, we require you to be sympathetic to the clutch and gearbox. We can hear misuse of the vehicle. Unless we instruct you to, do not switch off the safety systems like traction control or stability control. Do not engage four-wheel drive modes or differential locks. On hard, high-grip surfaces, your actions could cause very expensive mechanical damage. Our vehicles are insured for your use and you will have no liability for any incident except if it's caused by deliberate misuse or misadventure. How we will determine this is firstly from the dash cams fitted to all vehicles. These record constantly both video and audio, even when the vehicle is parked. All training vehicles are also fitted with transponders in the OBD2 port, which record driving speed and engine revs. The vehicle's computer is also recording data on your driving and the use of the vehicle safety systems. None of the video, audio or data will be reviewed except in the case of a crash or vehicle problem. Our team of instructors are ready to help you to become the best driver you can be. If you are nervous, tell us. If you're unsure, ask. If you don't understand, that's okay. We will help to clarify. But please understand our team operates under a strict code of conduct and to a set of standard operating procedures. And so they too have rules and procedures to follow. If you have any feedback, good or bad, about some aspect of our driver training, please contact our office during business hours or email to feedback at sdt.com.au.